Alright, so we're, for some reason we decided to do this in the middle of nowhere and <coughs> not in like a room or a studio for some reason. It's creative. Yeah, yeah. Oh my. Pizzazz. <laughs> Alright. Um, so, <laughs> we're, we're, hi. Yeah, we're Capture, Capture Studios. Studios. <laughs> that's a, a name that's very original. Uh, Wick was definitely not intended to be submitted. But we actually, after looking at the footage, we really, really like it. We really tried to challenge ourselves to tell a story with lighting. We know this is a lighting-focused contest, and we truly believe that it can tell a story on its own. And that's why we didn't just limit ourselves to umbrella lights. All the lighting we used kind of gave the film the feeling that, it, that you get when watching it. We wanted to make it more creative, in a sense. And for all of the films we did, we really tried to tell a story with lighting. Our first film we tried was... Uh, little like kitchen fight scene, but you couldn't really do too much with lighting that then we we spent two weeks writing and producing a film called lucky Right young here lucky. young lucky. Sorry <laughs> that one. We were actually really happy about leading up to it We yeah. even made I don't know what the technical term is, but it's like one of those huge diffuser screens We made one of those and hung it in my backyard um, completely from scratch yeah. and which actually worked really well, it did work for, really well for lighting everyone yeah. and kind of giving a weird feel to it. But due to some like acting limitations and stuff, we weren't able to fully finish that one. We definitely are going to use a script in the future. We also filmed one um, called Obituary, and that one was pretty interesting, except again, with lighting, it was kind of hard to tell a story. Then we finally settled on Wick, and Nico, if you want to talk about what Wick really is. Okay, yeah. so Wick is a bit of an interesting film. We kind of wanted it to, when you're watching it, you don't know exactly what's going on, so you can kind of create your own rendition of the story itself. We didn't even know exactly what we wanted it to be. We just knew that we wanted it... Out of fear. Yeah, the, like yeah. a fear of something. And you can kind of relate to it in a way. It's not only that he's like afraid of water or anything. It's like when you're scared, you feel as if you're drowning. Basically, the story is this boy who hears water dripping in his basement. He goes to check it out, and the water dripping ends up triggering this paranoia in his mind so it's kind of like it's it's making him fearful for the first kind of scene where he's walking down the stairs that was almost entirely lit by a, a lighter or sorry a candle and that worked pretty well but we really had to trap our eyes so high and the lens that we were shooting on um the white the widest aperture was like 3.5 which really wasn't enough to only have candlelight um and it looked very grainy because we had to turn up the iso a lot like i said previously so we used an aperture amaron i think yeah amaron m9 uh which just popped on right on top of the camera and worked incredibly well for the pool it something that really worked in our advantage is that the the whole base of the pool is all blue which made all the lighting blue but second uh, as well uh <laughs> as well the the pool was cleaned a few days before so it was a little bit murky, which really worked for bringing out beams in the water and making it look kind of like the abyss. And to get overhead lighting, we set up um, a few just standard umbrella lights with reflective uh, umbrellas, reflective umbrellas over the pool, and that brought in some light to the pool. And then I shot this on just a really old waterproof camera that only really shot up to like yeah. 720p. And then yeah. underwater, I just used two work, uh, work lights. The umbrella lights we had set up around the pool weren't necessarily to illuminate everything around it. It was just to bring out the color of the water. And then the lights we had really illuminated Nico. We wanted to make sure that we didn't get any like walls or floor of the pool. Yeah. It wasn't meant to be like, oh, he fell into a pool. The whole thing is basically a metaphor and in his head until you see the last like two seconds. So we tried a lot of things, like I said, and Wick yeah. was our final result after about a month of trying many films. We hope that you um, really liked it and- Thank you just, for the opportunity. Yeah. yeah, Yeah. thank you for hosting. We were kind of into filmmaking before the summer started, but, but this was yeah. really motivation. We're yeah. gonna continue to try to build and keep making films, getting better, get, making more complicated stories. And keep buying Aperture products. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you.